Ready with the one open. This one's hit pretty well with deep left center field. And it is starting to head out toward the wall. Runs up the bunt and he gets this one down. With EA locking down every professional sports league in sight, it's becoming increasingly difficult for other publishers to compete. 2K Sports issued a return volley by sewing up the MLB third-party license, locking Electronic Arts out of the sport. But so far, it hasn't worked out too well for players. The MLB 2K series has been called out at the plate a couple of times thanks to buggy gameplay. But with 2K7, it's looking to make a run for the pennant. Does this hardball simulation knock it out of the park? Or is there no baseball cliche left to describe its ineptitude? Chu is there, but he lets it fall! If you're looking for a million and one ways to play baseball, MLB 2K7 has you covered. Just about every conceivable gameplay mode has been included on the disc. You get the typical franchise, season, tournament, and home run derby options, in addition to online leagues for up to 30 teams and an insanely in-depth GM career option. Here, you control a lot of the legwork involved in running an MLB franchise. You can cycle your players from the minor leagues up to the bigs, control salaries, and adjust ticket prices at the stadium to make sure the organization turns a profit. It doesn't get down to the micro level where you're charging an extra quarter for hot dogs, but what's here is fairly robust. As the GM, you have certain milestones to achieve, like winning a certain number of games or taking an in-season series with a rival. If you complete the achievements, you're rewarded with more money from the owner the following year. Conversely, if your team falls flat, you have to improve your performance the following year with less money to work with. The system would work great if it weren't for some serious bugs. Computer trades are completely irrational. While you can approve or deny trades for your own squad, you have no control over what the other teams are doing. Don't be surprised if the other team you're dueling with to win the division suddenly has a rod on their squad in exchange for a few marginal minor leaguers. Baseball fans love stats. Apparently, 2K Sports thinks that fans of baseball video games feel the same way, because MLB 2K7 is absolutely loaded with them. The smallest details are marked, counted, and then presented in easy-to-read logs. If you're a traditional baseball fan who likes to evaluate talent based upon the most detailed reports, you'll have plenty to dig into here. While the structure of the game holds up just great, once you take the field, things begin to go south. Arguably the most important aspect of any baseball video game is the batter-pitcher interface. The system on offer in MLB 2K7 seems like it should carry the load, but some strange design quirks make it lose its legs on the way to home plate. Just like in the real game, the catcher is incredibly important to pitching a solid game. He'll give you suggestions on pitch type and location, and for the uninitiated, it's best to follow his advice. He'll make sure you're switching up your pitches and exploding the right location for each particular hitter. The only downer is that he often likes to set up outside the strike zone even when there are three balls in the count. Pitching itself is pretty easy to get a handle on. Each pitch is mapped to a different face button. Pressing it once will start the windup and cause the location cursor to expand. To throw the perfect pitch, you have to press it again when the cursor shrinks down to baseball size. Do it enough and you'll be given the ability to deliver a payoff pitch. A small box will appear in front of the catcher, and if you throw a perfect ball in the right location and the batter misses, your stat for that pitch will increase. It's a great idea, but it basically breaks the game. Even if your pitcher's stamina level is at 10%, if you've managed to complete a handful of payoff pitches, he'll be able to keep slinging without getting roughed up. Using this system, you can pitch no hitters easier than Nolan Ryan ever did. When up at the plate, the batting interface can take a while to come to grips with. The default setting uses the right analog stick, requiring you to pull it back when the pitcher releases the pitch, and then release it as the ball crosses the plate. To go for a home run swing, you physically shove the stick forward instead of just releasing it. It can take a little while to get the timing as you have a little time to prepare once the throw leaves the pitcher's hand. Once you do, you'll be smacking way too many home runs than you should. This is made even easier by being able to guess the pitch type and location. Online, the lag can be unbearable, and in a sport where timing is everything, it can make MLB 2K7 flat-out unplayable. Out in the field, things get worse. 
Fielding a routine ground ball takes quite a while to master, and in the outfield, fly balls are always an adventure. Even if you get your fielder to the pre-designated spot well before the ball comes back to earth, your fielder will still be out of position and will have to lunge to catch the ball. Running side to side trying to track down a shot to the outfield is also a crapshoot. Sometimes your outfielder will be in perfect position to make the play, yet the ball will sail right past him. The game also does a terrible job of counting errors. You can field a ground ball by a shortstop, accidentally throw to the wrong base, and the hit will be ruled an infield single. Running the bases uses a traditional mechanism that just about any veteran of baseball games will be able to understand. And that's a good thing, because allowing the computer to do it is a recipe for disaster. It's practically clueless when it comes to tagging up for fly balls or otherwise negotiating the subtleties of the game. There are certainly worse playing baseball games out there, and the first week or so spent with MLB 2K7 can be a good time. But the more you play, the more you realize all the small issues that will infuriate you when you need to make a play to win an important game. Suddenly, they have doubled their lead. They lead by two. MLB 2K7 is absolutely gorgeous, with thousands of animations and all the bells and whistles you'd come to expect from a modern hardball game. But numerous bugs and gameplay quirks keep it in the minor leagues. If you're a baseball fan with a 360, it's your only choice, so you have to learn how to deal with some annoying oversights if you want some high-def MLB action. If you own both a 360 and a PlayStation 2, we recommend MLB 07 The Show. It's not as pretty, but you won't want to send your controller over the center field fence.